Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Wafula Chebukati, the chairperson of IEBC, has declared William Samoy Arapruto as the president elect of the Republic of Kenya. Wafula Chibukati made the announcement which was boycotted by four commissioners. Two other commissioners were also absent, although Wafula Chibukati indicated that the two commissioners were injured. So basically Wafula Chibukati made the announcement alone. But legally, the absence of the four commissioners or even the two com other commissioners cannot invalidate the announcement which Wafula Chibukati made earlier today. Which means moving forward, William Ruto is the president-elect. According to the results which were announced by Wafula Chibukati, William Ruto got 7.1 million votes, while Relu Dinga got 6.9 million votes, a difference of around 200,000. And Wafula Chibukati was very clear that they were being intimidated, some of the officials were arrested, but he stood firm. So let us hope and pray that the country is going to remain peaceful. But I want us to look at the options which are now available for Raila Morodinga. Because remember, ahead of the announcement, Raila Morodinga, which was expected at the Bombers of Kenya, decided not to go to Bombers. And I remember receiving a phone call from one of the people around him who informed me that Raila Morodinga was just in office and even them, they did know why he was not getting out of office. Probably he had been informed by his agents that Wafula Chibukati had refused to share the results. Again, the four commissioners also indicated that Wafula Chibukati refused to share with them the results. I want to challenge anybody who is watching this video because Wafula Chibukati told the Kenyans that the results which he announced are actually based on the results which were posted on the portal of IBC. Those announcements were based also on Form 34B. Go to Nairobi County, check the form for Starehe, and then tell me whether that form is for Starehe, because what I'm getting is that that form is actually for Garissa. That form alone would have tilted the equation. But let us not get into all those. Because legally now, William Ruto is the winner. Some people might not be happy the way I am not happy. And I don't know how I'm going to operate in this country, considering that I'm one of the people who's been very critical of William Ruto and the, the, the kind of a person he is. So I don't know how we'll operate, but he's now the next president of the Republic of Kenya, unless Raila Odinga will go to court. So before we get into the options which are available to Raila Morodinga, in case you are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click the subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. So please, I'm also going to go live around, I think around between 9 to... To 10 or maybe 10 to 11 or 9 30 thereabouts let us get back to the main issue what are some of the options which are now available for Raila Amulodinga for me the first option which is available for Raila Odinga is for him to go to court because that's one of the legal redress in our constitution that in case you have any issue with the results, then you go to court. The truth of the matter is that William Ruto has been declared the president of the Republic of Kenya. But the truth is, there were massive rigging in this country. But can court invalidate the outcome of this election? That's the question which we must ask ourselves. For me, I don't see how court will overturn this, but I'm not a legal person. Because the courts in this country are corrupt. If IBC 
chairperson can actually declare results of the president without a quorum alone you know it's it, i mean it's the returning officer i can do that but it tends the image if he can do that i fear that our courts which are some of the most corrupt institution in this country will render justice of course in 2000 and um, 17 Raila Odinga successfully went to court and the courts nullified the elections so that's one of the options Raila Odinga can go to court but what grounds will he use because if you looked at Ofula Chebukati how he was doing things Ofula Chebukati was keen on ensuring that the moment he declares Ruto because that was what Ofula Chebukati was going to do the moment he declared Ruto nothing there was no go, there was not going to be any avenue for petition because number one, the first thing he did he made it very clear that going by the supreme court ruling of 2017 the form 34 as are final so that was the first thing so as kenyans were busy waiting for the the verification there was actually no verification if you go to court today you will have to go with those forms unless as the mio team will present before courts different forms from form 34 as then the courts can listen to them but going to court with form 34a for example and telling court that these figures were infl infl inflated the, the actual figures were these i don't think court will listen to that but i'm not a legal person i'm just a layman in terms of law so that's something he can do if the courts will invalidate william ruto's declaration then we'll go to another election will he win because we all know that people normally align with the winning side the moment william ruto was declared the winner i saw people like najib balala several others now declaring their support for ruto people who never did that before so that's the first option his second option is to they said and say okay it has happened so william ruto i'm going to support you for the next five years but i don't think that one is going to happen i don't think relo dinga is going to allow that relo dinga will ensure in my view that another contest because the difference between these guys is 200000 and just like i was explaining to you the figures for for starehe for example is not the ones on the portal if the, the actual figures were put then it means the difference would have been less than 100 i mean less than 200000 that would have made the difference he can decide to support ruto and call it quits supporting ruto is one of the options but i don't see it considering the way this campaign has been uh, run number 4 number 3 in my view is that relo dinga can decide that now i'm going to be in the opposition but hand over those mandates to none other than steven kalonzo musyoka because if you look at the outcome of this election on azimio side the hero is actually steven kalonzo musyoka the kamba nation delivered the votes to raila courtesy of kalonzo musyoka and i know most people took offense with me but i still believe that if raila odinga had settled on steven kalonzo musyoka as the running mate things would have changed although the argument is that martha karwa and ruru kenyata managed to deliver good number huge chunk of kikuyu votes to raila odinga side that can be argued but of course Raila Odinga got substantial number of votes from the mountain courtesy of the handshake but i don't know whether it's because of the choice of the running mate so you can decide that we are going um, we are going to um, i'm still going to lead the opposition but the person who is going to take charge is Steven Kanonzo Musyoka i can even decide that that person is going to be Martha Wangari Karua and lastly the last option for him if you ask me is to swear himself Raila Odinga can dispute these results the three commissioners already denounced that result the only thing they didn't do is that they didn't provide alternative figures 
which means even if Raila Odinga were to swear himself with, with, with what numbers, if these other commissioners had issued, because they've said they're going to issue a comprehensive statement, let us wait for that statement, if they had issued, if they had uh, released their numbers, then Raila Odinga can go ahead and swear himself. But swearing himself as what? As people's president? I don't think and would not encourage Raila Odinga to enter into any sort of handshake with William Ruto. Either he contests the results or he decides to support him. I don't want a case where really Raila Odinga working with William Ruto after five years of insult for me would not be the best for the country. If Ruto won, let him rule the country. Let him, let him uh, save the hustlers until the next time of the next cycle of general election. But if Raila Odinga has to challenge, let him go and challenge. I don't know what to think. That's my take. Thank you, guys. I don't want to lie. <laughs> I'm not happy, man. Bye-bye. <laughs>